What's up, family? It's your girl, Sissy Slayani, and I am back at you guys with another video. If this is your first time being on my channel, welcome to Spirit Guide. Intuitions, come on over and be a part of this family. I would love to have you guys. Okay, and this positive vibes only over here. We don't do negativity over here on this channel. And family, if you back, where's so? What do you do, so? What do you do, bruh? So I want to just take this time out, okay? I want to thank my ancestors and my angels and my spirit guides for always protecting me and assisting me in each message to give out all this free game, family. Because get it. That's all it be is a whole lot of free game, free game, free game. And I want to thank you guys, okay? And whatever way you donate to Spirit God Intuitions, I want to tell you guys, thank you so, so much. I am really, really big old grateful family. Inshallah. And if you guys take a moment uh, and go back really, really quick, you will see the orbs that was just flying in here, okay? So free game. Somebody here in this message, you definitely have some type of spiritual protection, okay? Or there could be some sort of angelic presence that's around you every day, okay? This is what I'm getting to somebody, okay? And if you are new joining this platform, welcome, okay? Welcome to the family or whatever your reasoning is for being over here, family. Uh, welcome to the platform. Whole lot of free game, family. And I'm not traditional, okay? I do things a lot differently over here, okay? So if you are somebody that's stuck in your ways, baby, this is not going to be the platform for you. Free game, pass the gap, okay? We don't need all the negative comments and the content, okay? If you guys are trying to book your energy read with me, family, okay, you will need to email me, okay? The information is not in the description box below of this video, okay? My email is, though, okay? If you guys would like to donate to this platform or you simply just want to be like, what's up, sir, okay? Uh, if you guys would like to stay tapped in, free game, sassy, all that family, become a member today. Free game, family, okay? Let's go run them numbers up, okay? I would love to start working with you guys. Uh, and that information, family, is in the description box below, okay? Free game. And to all my returning OGs, welcome back, okay? And to all my day ones, what's happening? Happy Halloween to those of you that celebrate the holiday, okay? Happy birthday. Somebody out there has a birthday, okay? Uh, and just... I want to send love and life to everybody that may be running across this video. Your eyes are running across this video. Okay. Stay on track with everything. Okay. That's what I want to say to somebody. Okay. So I'm going to clear my chakras. And we're going to get into this message. Spirit, clear my mind. Chakra, clear my heart. Chakra, clear my throat. Chakra. I ask if there's any evil being thrown at it that you make you fall down immediately. When it is dealing with my family, give me the message of clarity and truth. Somebody here, you could be from Alabama. Okay. Somebody could be born on November the 6th, November the 12th. I said November the 12th. I meant to say November the 2nd. So somebody can be born November the 12th as well. I'm also seeing here January 6th, okay? I'm also seeing here January 12th, January 11th, okay? Somebody can be born 11-11, okay? Somebody can be born February the 6th, okay? June 2nd. Those are the birthdays that I'm seeing, okay? You are on the right track, okay? And just know you cannot please everybody. That's your message over today, okay? Let that carry you, okay? That's a strong message for somebody. You needed to just hear that, okay? So, family, let's tap into this tea, okay? Let's see what's going on, okay? Because for somebody here, I'm hearing, like, you somebody that's official, okay? And I feel like you could be very indecisive at this time surrounding, like, a situation dealing with your love life, okay? This is what I'm getting, like, I feel like this is how you feel. It's like you able to provide for yourself. You able to spoil yourself. You able to do all of these things for yourself. And it's like the options that it's offering to you. They're showing up as a page. Somebody here is very immature. And you're very... Um, and I also feel like, family, you are somebody that's secure with yourself. Whoever this person is, okay? Or whoever just these people is, okay? Because these could be randoms. It's like somebody may be a good fuck. Okay, somebody got good wand, somebody got good cat, but it's like, that's it. It's like, when it come down to like stability, you are your own stability. And it's like, the people that you are running across, they're not giving you the things that you want. And I'm not just talking about like material wise, family. I feel like you got options. Okay, I do see that here. Okay, these may just be people again, that look nice. They may have, it's like chemistry here, family. You are, you are seeking somebody with chemistry, okay? Because, again, I do feel like you are somebody, man or woman. Like, if this is a man energy that I'm speaking to, you are somebody where you bring a lot to the table. You offer a lot already without a woman. 444 four, four on the clock. 
So it's just like, if you're going to come in, if I'm coming in and pay your bills, if I'm coming in and hold you the fuck down, then what you going to bring to the table? And I feel like this is all this woman is offering you. It's basically like, it's not even the 80-20 rule. It's like this woman feel like she's only offering you 5% out of 100. And it's like, because she could be in this traditional mindset of thinking like a man is supposed to take care of her or a man is supposed to provide for her. That's even down to like y'all communication, okay? This woman feel like she's not going to text you back or she's not going to call you until you call her first or until you text her first. It's some type of behavior like this is what I'm picking up on. Now, if this is a woman that I'm speaking to, I feel like I'm hearing that all the women acting like men because they can't find a real man, okay? Free my brother Kane Wing, okay? That was one of his punchlines out of his songs, okay? I feel like right now you are very balanced within your divine feminine, divine masculine energy, okay? And so I feel like you are more so providing, okay? You are the provider. You are the one that can spoil yourself, okay? It's like, I don't need no man. I just want a man. And so it's like the man that's showing up to you, he's showing up. He may have a lot of material gains. He's in this king of pentacle energy, okay? But right next to the page, it's like he's immature. It's like he look good. He smell good, okay? He even got big, big energy, okay? But it's like when it comes down to the chemistry, okay? It's like the math ain't mathing, okay? This is somebody that's very immature, Somebody can even be younger than you, okay? There could be a two-year age difference between you and somebody, okay? I'm getting this at this time, but it's like whatever this man is offering to you or whatever this man is bringing to the table, it's not really, it's, it's something that you could do for yourself. Basically, it's what I'm getting at this time. Look, five of wands, you got a lot of options, but I feel like with this four of wands being here, okay? And this hermit, I'm sorry, and I said the hermit, somebody could be a Virgo, okay? Somebody could be an Aquarius, okay? I'm also getting this as well. Somebody could be a Leo. Somebody could be a Sagittarius, okay? I'm getting this though, but with this Taurus energy falling out, okay, the hair front in reverse, family, this is you. You you don't want to be in a relationship, but you want to be in a relationship. So what you mean, put me down? I'm going to read you real quick. It's just like, family, you in this energy of like, I feel like you are somebody that's not been in a marriage before. Somebody could be divorced big time, Okay. You just got out of a higher level of commitment or you've been single for quite some time now. And it's like, you want a relationship. You are somebody that even want marriage one day, but it's like an energy of like, as soon as you start dating, okay? Because I do feel like you are dating other people. As soon as you start entertaining other people, it start making you feel some type of way. Like you feel like you're locked down or you feel like you you feel like you're trapped man or woman i'm really getting some shit like this like it's like for somebody here you scared that if you were to get into a commitment or if you commit to one person you feel like you may miss out on somebody else this is what i'm getting at this time and so who i'm who i'm picking up on family i feel like you're in this indecisive ass energy i definitely feel like this is you <laughs> i feel like this is you.com Okay, who I'm talking to. Okay, I definitely feel this energy of like, it's like you got everything that you need within self, but you still feel like you're missing something surrounding your love life. You do want to come home to somebody. You do want to wake up to somebody. But it's feel, it feels like in this energy that all the wrong people is doing all the right shit. And all the right people that you want it to be is doing all the wrong shit. Okay, so I feel like you in self-conflict. This is what I'm getting at this time. And so this is you. You trying to hold on to everybody. Look, this is you, family. You trying to hold on to everybody. You just weighing out your options at this time. I do feel like this weekend, look, eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? I feel like going into your weekend, you got some type of romantic night coming to you, okay? Somebody here want to invite you over, invite you out. Okay, they want to spend some time with you. I do see this energy of like somebody may text you and I literally almost bit my tongue when I just said this. Somebody has been biting their tongue or they just been holding back communication from you because again, even if you don't see yourself, somebody can see you. Somebody feel like you're sending them mixed signals or somebody can feel like you're in this indecisive energy, not really knowing like if you want a com solid commitment or not. So it's something like that family, okay? Uh, but I'm getting this energy of like this weekend, somebody's going to ask you to make time for them. Okay. I see you making time for somebody. Okay. But you're getting around somebody and it's like an energy of 
you really trying to see like if you're going to cut somebody. Okay, I feel like you're making cuts this weekend. Okay, three of swords at the bottom. Of, you making cuts this weekend. Okay, look, this is you having a whole new new outlook on things, a whole new roster for somebody. Okay, I got to call this shit how I see it. It's 10-01 as I just said this, okay? I do feel like you are making a decision on whether or not you're going to move forward with somebody or not. Family, I feel like this is your energy. This is you. You're going to spend some time with somebody over your weekend that you have been playing games with. And, and, and again, family, I don't even really feel like you've been playing games with somebody. It's just you're in this free-spirited energy, okay? You're very free-hearted. You're, you're stress-free. You ain't letting nothing bother you, okay? Look, you just enjoying your life. You living your life. And so it's like you in this energy of, okay, am I going to give to this person or not? It's something like that, okay? Again, I do see you spending time with somebody. I do see you giving your energy to somebody this weekend, okay? Uh, and you're going to, this going to put the icing on the cake and this is going to determine whether or not you're going to move forward with somebody or not. Because I do see love language here for a lot of you guys. Okay. But it's like some type of confusing energy here where it's like you're indecisive because it's like, damn, if I fuck around and I settle down with this person, then I got this person over here and I got this person over here. You're, you're fearing that you may lose some 11, 11 on the clock. You feel like you may lose out on something that you do not see. So I definitely feel you being in heat this weekend. Okay, this is what I'm getting. You definitely being in heat. And this is weekend energy, family, okay? Because I do feel like the fact that I'm seeing into time, okay, two of wands being here, okay? This is some future energy, okay? In the next couple of days, you see two wands here, okay? I feel like this is some weekend energy that's getting ready to come up, okay? Where it's like an energy of you making a decision surrounding your love life. This is what I'm getting at this time, family. Tighten up. Okay, and don't let nobody peer pressure you because I see this here as well. Okay, don't be peer pressured into some shit. If you know you ain't really fucking with somebody game, let they ass know that. And I definitely see you letting somebody know that. Okay, it's like you clearing your roster. Like, it's like, okay, if I don't fuck with you, we finna stop playing these back and forth games. I'm finna just gonna cut you off for real. You ain't trying to offer me what it is that I want. I'm gonna cut you off for real. Or you you crowding me, I'm gonna cut you off for real. It's like that. That's what I see you doing this weekend. But I definitely see you giving somebody your time that you definitely have chemistry with. This is what I'm getting, family, okay? So like, share, and subscribe to this video, okay? Make sure you tell a friend. Tell a friend. I love you guys so, so much, and y'all been tapped in by the bunny. P.S., I definitely see you all uh, in heat this weekend. You getting out of the house, and you definitely, uh, you it's going down. This is what I'm getting, family. I love y'all. Y'all been tapped in by the bunny, honey. You. Yeah.